The Tata Harrier EV sprints from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 6.3 seconds. Now that is incredibly cool for bragging rights and all, but let's be practical. Your day-to-day -day experience will matter more on all the niceties that this car has to offer. And boy, oh boy, this car is brimming with so much cool tech. Come, let me show you. Step inside the cabin and you'd be greeted by this massive 14.53-inch Samsung Neo QLED touchscreen. Now the Harrier EV is the first car in the world with Samsung's Neo QLED infotainment display tech. You would say, why Samsung? Because Samsung is the biggest supplier of displays in the world, be it for televisions or for smartphones. And now the company is also making displays for cars. The icing on the cake is this display's ultra-slim 5mm bezels, which significantly enhance the premium vibe of the cabin. Samsung is also sort of the default choice for infotainment for Tata Motors because Tata and Harman have been collaborating for a long time for infotainment. And just in case you don't know, Harman is fully owned by Samsung. Also, this car has got JBL Black speakers, which is a Harman brand. So directly or indirectly, the infotainment hub of this car is totally powered by Samsung. Now, Neo QLED is something to get really excited about. Why, you may ask? Well, that is because Neo QLED is the tech that Samsung also uses in its high-end televisions. Now, I'm not really sure if camera can do justice to the colors of this display, but it is very vivid with very high levels of contrast, which is the signature of Neo QLED. Neo QLED also uses mini LEDs, which is a lot more power efficient than your standard LCD. And you definitely need power efficiency in an EV, don't you? The JBL Black Sound System I mentioned earlier features 10 speakers, JBL Audio Modes and Dolby Atmos. So yeah, the Harrier EV's infotainment setup is top-notch. Now it's time to show you some very cool driving assist features. To begin with, I found this SUV's EIRVM particularly useful. It displays feed from onboard cameras, providing a crystal clear wide view of both the front and the rear that's unobstructed by passengers or luggage. The Harrier EV can also record this footage, thereby eliminating the need for an additional dash cam. There is also a 540 degree surround view that includes a 360 degree view of the car, plus a unique transparent mode that shows what's beneath the vehicle. This is quite handy for off-roading or navigating through those large potholes. While the Harrier EV comes with many standard ADAS features, what particularly stood out to me was its reverse assist. Say you're stuck in a narrow spot where a U-turn is not possible. This feature automatically retraces the car's exact path in reverse for up to 50 meters. So convenient, so cool. So, good looks, loads of power and some pretty insane tech. The Harrier EV has it all. But so does the Mahindra XCV 9e. So, which one out of these two is your choice? Let me know down in the comments and please subscribe to AcuDrive.